Today, we look at my $1,000 purchase on TCG Player from Twitch Chat. What's up guys, we're back with another $1,000 TCG player purchase. We did this last year, all the way through the year. We checked it out the whole time. There's a playlist. If you guys wanna check it out, it'll pop up on the screen somewhere. We also did it again this year, where I had my Twitch chat decide which cards we were actually gonna buy. You can see the other videos here. We've opened the mail, we've done all that stuff, but we have not revisited them to see how the cards are actually doing right now. So in this video, I'm gonna be checking on the prices of everything we bought to see if we've made money or lost money. Probably that. Before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away a $50 TCG player gift card. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know what you think of our purchases and how you think they're gonna do by the end of the year. Okay, so here is our spreadsheet of everything that we bought, our cost, 1230 price. Today, at the time of recording this, is 3 23 So it's been about two and a half months since we started. I used to do these every three months, but now I'm just gonna kind of do them randomly, a little bit earlier this time. Let's check in on how we're doing. We bought three Sky Striker Ace Rose, so let's go to TCG Player and see what they're worth now. Okay, so here's the one we bought. Sky Striker Ace Rose this is the 2021 at 10 of Ancient Battles. Let's see what the lowest verified listing for near mint is. So at the moment, it is 99 cents. So I think that's actually lower than what we paid because ours were, we bought three different ones. $3.38 total for the three we bought. These are now at 99 cents. So basically we can put this at 99 times three. That gives us a $2.97 total value, which is a little bit less here. All right, we've updated my spreadsheet and now we have a 41% or 41 cent loss there with a 14 percent decrease so off to a bad start but it's only a 41 cent loss not a big deal we've got a lot bigger cards we have to worry about that hopefully are doing better than that so let's go back and check on the dark arm dragon ghost rare that we bought okay dark arm dragon ghost rare let's see if the near mint's doing good okay this is not a good sign right here down but we're coming back a little bit let's see i think we pay like 40 something dollars this one's now okay this is not verified so we'll go here 42.23 that's going to be close to what we paid oh man it's almost the same but it's a little bit lower so we lost a dollar and five cents and then two percent change on the actual value but it was a down you know a negative change so that's unfortunate but that's okay still still doing fine we haven't lost a ton of money just like a dollar fifty so far we really need something big to show up maybe this colossal fighter will be the change let's check out the ultimate rare okay so colossal fighter first one listed uh oh that's not a good sign uh oh uh oh that's not good it's uh, it's down okay wait 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 85 okay so that's okay that is down a little bit okay, so it's down three bucks exactly so it's nothing crazy it's four percent we, we're all just slightly going down at the moment nothing has actually gone back up we're hoping to get something to go up ally of justice catastrophe it's kind of in the same class as colossal fighter so i'm not feeling great about it but let's go check and see if it actually went up okay so we got the ultimate rare there's a bunch of different versions oh i hope it is not 37 dollars. that would be a problem uh yeah this is the same thing it's an edison card that's it's just on the decrease. Let's see what it's at. $79.99. Wait, how much was it again? Oh, look at that. $79.99. Let's double check and make sure that's right. $79.99. This was $75, but it has $4.99 shipping, so it's really $79.99. And look, there's eight of these available from Core TCG. Okay. I was about to say there's only a couple listed before it goes down 95, but they have eight available. So really there's 10 listed because this guy has two as well. Let's check out the sales on this thing. The sales on the other hand are showing like they, they've been bought out or something because all the 50s and 60s and low 70s have been bought. The lowest right now is 80 bucks. So it looks like we actually have gone up $9.99. was a 12% increase of our money. And at this point, our net gain slash loss is we can't see yet because we've got to do all this but it looks like we've definitely made money throughout this once we get through all this we'll be able to see the change in price total percentage and everything like that and see if we actually made money okay now it's time to check out the ash blossom we have a lot more cards this year than we did last year i think we bought like a total of nine or ten products slash cards this year i have a total of how many 78 different cards which is insane it's a lot more cards so 78 different cards the next six are the ash blossom and joy spring which is secret rare it also got a reprint recently could have heard it but we'll have to see if that actually did the ash Ash Blossom Secret Rare. Let's see if that was a good decision buying that one. I think it was. I think it was decent no matter what this says. Okay, so oh, this looks promising. This is, uh oh, uh oh, wait, wait, wait. Near mint lowest. So these are Korean. So you always got to check. There's like a description below that usually means it's a foreign card or something or maybe graded or something like that. Uh, this guy uh, is not verified, not verified. Do we just see that guy? Maybe not. So it looks like the lowest verified is 10. So there's some random ones that are not verified here, but they have shipping added. This guy's shipping included. So it's $10.40 for the low. So with this one since we did get 10 we got to do 1040 times six to see where we're at we're at 62 so we've made two dollars and 46 cents about a four percent increase which is actually i mean solid if everything went up four percent we do you know fairly well but uh yeah so not bad overall not a huge gain on all of them it seems like at the when we first did it we paid 
about $10 a piece, and now they're slightly over that. So not bad on the Ash Blossoms. I can expect those to do well because those Prismatic Secrets look really good. And if you're going to play like an Ash Blossom, if you're going to play a common, you might as well play that one for 10 bucks because the common's like eight or nine. So you might as well get that really nice looking version. Okay, now we got the Pot of Desires. This is the one, uh, <laughs> I didn't really want to buy this one, but chat was insistent on buying this one. I think I checked this recently. I don't think this has gone up. I think it was around like 55 bucks last I checked. Uh, let's see. Oh, maybe, oh, okay. Maybe it got a couple days. Last couple days, it did go up. No way, I just checked this thing. So it looks like all the 50s were bought and then now we're up to 65, 75, because that's not verified. This is a Korean copy. Uh, anything else? Yeah, 65, 75, wow. Wait a second, Pot of Desires Twitch chat. Shout out to the Twitch chat, by the way. And since this whole video was made because of Twitch chat buying all these cards, you might as well go check out Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash ruxin34. The link's in the description. If you guys wanna see me stream there, I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we do cool stuff like this. So uh, go check it out if you guys are interested. Uh, next up, the Traps is Trap Hole Nightmare, which the Trap Trick stuff has been doing good. So I have, I have high hopes for this. Let's hope that it went up. It's not like, I think you usually play like one or two of these anyway, but uh, it's still not bad to have this since we have like six ultimate rares, which is a hilarious purchase but six ultimate rares look at this look at this near mid 69.99 we made 246 dollars 59 increase wow when we bought these we were like well they've already announced the trap church uh you know structure deck so it's probably not going to go up that much we'll buy it anyway just in case and like that deck has gotten really popular people are playing it a lot because it, you can basically play it with just the structure deck but i guess if you want to bling it out this is the way to do it and wow we have got a 59 percent increase 246 dollars Wow, that is insane. So we basically, is that right? 259% increase? Okay, doing that made me realize that I had my formula wrong because I was like, that 59% increase, that's not right. 141% increase. So some of these have changed a little bit from what we saw earlier because I was dividing by the wrong thing. So a little math stuff going on here, but don't worry about that. that back in the accounting days, we cared about that. But yeah, so 141% increase from the 173 that we spent to the $420, 420? good sign that is insane a 246 dollar increase that's weird that it's exactly 246 dollars okay we're looking good i think we're gonna make money for once on this uh, but the question is will this hold up throughout the entire year because i'm guessing that they'll go down or like what do you guys think we should do should we be able to resell in the middle of the year like should i be able to post my trap tricks trap hole nightmares and sell them and lock in our price honestly i think we should be able to do that it would make more sense but i want your guys opinion let me know in the comments right now can i sell some of the cards in the middle of the year or do i have to wait it out we waited it out last year i think it'd be a cool change in the second year to be able to sell some cards like while they're at their high because i feel like the trap trick trap hole nightmare eventually the trap trick sex is not going to be as popular the price is going to go back down we're not going to make any money so i feel like now is the good time to actually sell them all right time for the tomb blackluster soldier let's see what it's done this is a weird one i could see it going up but i really don't know because it's still pretty new i don't know if it's going to hold on or not okay so here we go not looking good from the outside let's see 661 two lazy dogs is selling it so i think that went down yeah 661 so we've lost a dollar 23 this is by far i'm still amazed by the trap tricks trap hole nightmare this is by far the biggest spike we've had on one of these videos so that's awesome that's a monumental occasion compared to the other ones but we lost on a lot of the other cards but only a dollar no big deal let's go to instant fusion this is another one that we were like this could get banned at any moment <laughs> so it's probably going to be down at some point instant fusion ultimate rare let's see okay check this out all right instant fusion uh i think that we lost some of our money here all right uh 99 .94. not looking too good there it, well someone bought one for 130 that seems like an outlier that's kind of weird okay so this is taking back some of our trap tricks trap hold nightmare you know stonks here we lost 22 dollars 18 that's our biggest loss yet in terms of percentage yeah not great we kind of knew when we bought this one this was a bad idea but they were kind of like hey do you own this car i'm like no they're like you should buy it then i was like okay sure whatever the next one is uh a funny one we bought 10 night beam a very weird purchase but the funny part was i actually have a light play night beam listed on my own tcg player we bought a bunch of near mint ones and a lot of them came light play but hey we're gonna check in on them 10 near mint night beam did you come through night beam ultimate rare we bought 10 of you so i hope you did oh no oh no guys not good not good near mint unlimited wait where's first dead wait a second there's no first dead option are they bought out or something where are the first deads wait are they bought out i think they're bought out i don't think there's a single night beam available in first dead that can't be right there has to be an, at least a, a light play one or something oh i guess they sold the mod plays wait okay i thought i had one listed but apparently it was unlimited also for some reason it's at 22 bucks so i guess at some point it was 22 dollars let's see if i can find my listing uh i don't see it i don't even see my my, my listing it's on here somewhere but wait where's the first dead first dead look 
There are first ads. Why would it let me filter? What is going on with TCG player today? Okay, well, we can see here that the lowest list is 1349, which is a good sign for us. After all that work, we figured it out. Okay, so we have 1349 times 10, which is a 27% increase on our card because we spent about $10 a piece, slightly over that. You can see $106 for 10. We gained $28 on this one, which made up for our instant fusion loss, which is not bad. So our night beams are actually paying off at the moment, which is a miracle to be honest. Honest. All right, let's move on to Baxia. We're actually doing really well right now. We already have, wait, we already have a thousand dollars. We're not, even, we're like halfway done. We look, we have nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Well, what I, what we spent was a thousand. So we literally, I've made our money back already. Night beam and trap tricks, trap hole nightmare coming in clutch. Let's go to Baxia up next. A couple of people tried to buy these off me after the video. I was like, well, uh, this kind of for the video, so <laughs> we can't sell them. Okay, we got a thirty dollar. Oh, I feel like we didn't make any money on that. What was it? Thirty fifty. Okay, so we lost fifty cents. But if you look here, that's the only one listed, and then they kind of go up to like forty almost, like light plates. So we got a, a you know, these are not verified we go up to actually verified 44 dollars let's just keep going okay yeah 45 so if this it's me v over here would just sell his copy real quick we'd be up 15 bucks which would be insane near mint one sold for 39 so i guess this guy's just a, a motivated seller but honestly like this seems like it's doing fine because there's not a lot of listings that's just kind of what it comes down to but that's not too bad yazi's up next let's see if yazi did as well as boxia even though it didn't make any money technically i think it's actually doing pretty well Ooh, oh ooh, 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 ooh. first edition market price making his way up let's see we got a 24.99 from versus gaming did we make any money on that <gasps> we did a dollar ten, so a five percent increase. That's not bad at all. We'll take a dollar ten. That's pretty solid. Basically, at this point, if they've made anything at all, I'm pretty happy because it's only been a couple of months. And if they've made anything crazy like trap trick, trap bolt, nightmare, now we're talking. Rising energy coming up next. Let's see. No, rescue rabbit. Sorry, rescue rabbit secret rare. Let's see if that one's worth anything. It's a cool card. I don't know. Is there any demand for rescue rabbit? Probably not at the moment. As you guys can see, like the things that are doing well are the things that are like in the meta. So last year we we're trying to do like old school stuff, and it's like that works but it takes a lot longer the meta stuff can spike up really quick if there's like a good deck around it first dead rescue rabbit this is kind of one of the things that's not really in any sort of meta right now twenty dollars and fifty cents i think we lost on that yeah we lost a little bit only 80 cents no big deal so we're at 80 you know 83 cent loss four percent overall not bad that's pretty much minimal that's pretty negligible to be honest so it's not a big deal uh rising energy is up next we, that was the one where we had like a return or something like that we only have two of these i think we bought three originally is that right there's only a couple listed though so i'm interested to see like if there are more listings uh at the moment there is a first ed near mint uh whoa <laughs> there was the four dollar ones we bought now they're 1345 so it looks like uh we may have bought them out and that's kind of stuck because nobody has these i guess so 1345 from troll and toad you can see here like the light play first edition like two bucks near mint seven bucks near mint uh, first at six six so they're selling so 1345 so this one's actually doing pretty good but because we bought that one for like 14 bucks you know we're actually not really making much so 1345 times two we made three dollars and 17 cents not terrible we'll take it all right next up the infamous fiber jar let's just if you guys happen to miss the last video let's just play that clip of when we open the fiber jar in the package service actually looks pretty good surprisingly this is not real they did not write on the card and call it near mint so the story with the fiber jar i did get my money back on this it took forever i had to first of all say hey there's a star on the back of my card and they were like oh okay can we send you a replacement i was like sure why not then i'm like hey send me the tracking number when you do so i can know that you sent it i then messaged him a few days later did you send it yeah we sent it okay where's the tracking number we didn't send one so i'm thinking okay i don't think they sent it so i'm like okay well just send me my money back then because if you're just gonna say you sent it at this point i had already heard horror stories of this place and then i heard about how they say they're gonna send a replacement they don't actually and it seems like i was right because it's been a couple of months and i have not gotten the card that was sent as a replacement before i asked for the refund so they definitely didn't send that because i got the first card i didn't get the replacement card so yeah it was a, it was a disaster i did finally get my money back after messaging like 20 times and i didn't get another fiber jar we're just gonna pretend like i have a fiber jar because you know these people you know we, we had a fiber jar okay and then this happened i do have my own fiber jar we can just throw that in there i bought my own fiber jar for 29.99 to replace it so now let's check and see if we made any money on this thing fiber jar let's see first edition so the unlimiteds are not too much first ed oh look 
Card Game Coliseum, $29.99, the exact same price. This one's $29.22, but it also has shipping, so it's about the same. Uh, $29.99, exactly what we paid. This is the first one that is the exact same price. We made no money. All we did was have a huge hassle and make some cool videos and hilarious reactions out of it. Okay, now we got Rare Droll and Lockbird. I don't know how this is gonna do, to be honest. A Rare Droll, okay, there's a lot of Drolls out there at this point, point. Um, and also this is kind of a newer one as the Rare, but we'll have to see. Where's the rare? I think it was the Tactical Masters rare, right? Okay, so this one's kind of gone up and down, up and down. Near mint, 74 cents. Not good. That is not going to make us money. So, oh, wait. We only paid less than 50 cents for these? Wait, we did make money. Now it's 222. We actually went up 59%. That's actually a crazy increase in terms of percentage. Only 82 cents overall, so negligible in terms of the actual money. But the percentages is pretty crazy. So I guess when Tactical Masters is now not so easily accessible, it's harder to get your hands on those rares and they're actually going up. So that seems like that was a good choice. And now the meme purchase. This is the Gate Guardian from Simply Unlucky. Not just the Gate Guardian. 23 gate guardians now we find out if maze of memories helped us at all because you don't even play this gate guardian unfortunately if you did play this gate guardian this would probably would have spiked but you don't play it so maybe this reminded some people hey i want a gate guardian let's get a cool secret rare let's hope so let's see all right speed duel paradox midterm what are they worth oh no they, they tanked big time oh 333 no not like this top card shop has 198 listed oh my gosh oh we lost 24 percent of our money oh not like this if you included like the shipping though because like, so it's like kind of, you know, I don't really know if I should include the shipping because some of them I do, some of them I don't. It just depends on what the first listing is. This guy has like this shipping and then, well, I guess actually everyone else has a shipping. So if there was like one that included shipping right next to it, then maybe, a, yeah. So I think this is the right price to do it at three, whatever. So we lost 24 bucks and 24% of our money. Very, you know, consistent numbers there. And eh, whatever, we knew that. We knew that was a meme purchase anyway. Let's go to the battle fader. Let's see how that one's doing. Ultimate rare, unlimited. 30, okay, it's got shipping. That's not verified. 34.98, so 34. Oh yeah, look at that. We went up $4.98, 17% increase. That's not bad, we'll take that. Very solid before we head into the Pequeno Moth, which about 14 of, if you guys remember these were, none of them were in near mint basically. Let's see, unlimited Pequeno Moth. Let's see, come on, Metal Raiders. All right, near mint unlimited, 50 cents. Wait, is that an increase? 50 times 14. No, it's not. Okay, we, let, we lost money on the Vicano Moss, unfortunately. Okay, so I fixed these bottom numbers. We gained $252.80. Basically, all the work was put in by Trapture, Trap Hole, Nightmare, Night Beam. It looks like basically those two. I mean, really, Night Beam only made 28 bucks. So it was the Trapture, Trap Hole, Nightmare at $246 that really carried us through some of the losses. Like, we lost 22 bucks on the Instant Fusion, 24 bucks on the Gate Guardians. We lost a couple bucks on other things. But really, that $246 increase, I mean, it's almost the entire profit that we made. But if you take that out, we still made six bucks. So we actually did pretty well in everything else too. It was pretty consistent. And that just like really like shot us above the moon and a 25% total increase on our money, which is pretty awesome. So this is probably the most successful check-in we've had. I want you guys to let me know, am I allowed to sell the Trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmares and stuff like that? Like if I think it's at like a peak, because I think right now, if you're buying a Trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmare, it's probably the most expensive it's going to get unless Trap Tricks becomes like literally an amazing deck. Like somebody wins like the YCS, then it might go up more. This was a fun check-in video. Uh, it's more fun when you have a lot more cards. I kind of like that we have 78 different cards here so I can go through and like check in on a bunch of different prices. Like last year was like eight, eight things. It took like five minutes. So it was not as interesting. So this was a lot of fun. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more more epic content like this and don't forget to enter the giveaway shout out to tone Fo show daxter jt cho puffins of doom ernesto deanda dizzy hoppus choice 333 Michael james jance tcg trust of cards america deutzer supreme sage 21 and then the show ian musa junior barding mimic gecko and thomas mcclain thank you guys for supporting the channel i'll see you guys in the next one peace